Just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. His head's gone. It's like it's like it's been erased. A viewer recently brought to my attention that just like in Back to the Future, somebody's disappearing from film. This time, it's James Watson. Back on February 20th through 25th on the BBT tour out on Santee Cooper, James Watson had a really good tournament. He ended up in ninth place overall, anchored by two really nice fish, including this 8-pound, 15-ounce beauty that tied for big bass. Now, Watson had a cameraman in the boat for multiple days during this competition, which gave him pretty good coverage during the live streaming of the event, which makes what happens next very odd. Recently, all that footage was chopped and packaged for its television debut on the Discovery Channel, September 21st and 28th. What's weird is Watson and his ninth place finish seems to have ended up on the cutting room floor. Now, if you look at the timeline of this specific tournament, in conjunction with all the events that led to Watson's eventual suspension for Major League Fishing, you would find that it kind of lands at that point of the Duckett-Watson Battle Royale where things are pretty heated, but hadn't quite boiled over yet. Now, you might remember it was only about a month later when we were all in Tulsa, Oklahoma for the Bassmaster Classic, where James Watson was introducing his new line of FBD merchandise. Coming off the heels of the Classic on March 29th, Major League Fishing announced that they had suspended James Watson for multiple violations of the league's agreements, a suspension that would take him through December of 2025. But the question still remains, what happened to the footage and why didn't it make the Discovery Channel? Yeah, at this point, it's common knowledge that there's no love lost between Boyd Duckett and James Watson. But with that being said, as an organization that's promoting their own tournaments, why wouldn't they want the anglers that were best during that event to be represented on coverage for that event? At the end of the day, the man had a solid ninth place finish anchored by two sweet fish. There's even some gritty footage out there somewhere of him pitching to some cypress trees. And you want to leave all that out? And this is after they took out 10 grand from his paycheck to cover a fine. One would think that no matter the differences between the two, business is business. And not only does Major League Fishing have a product they need to promote, they also have a responsibility to the fans to be transparent. So, was the omission of this footage merely coincidence? Or was it in direct retaliation over the fallout due to the FBD merch line? Either way, it seems a little bit sketchy. But if it is deliberate, it could be seen as tortuous interference with a man's ability to make a living. See, many anglers have requirements in their sponsorship contracts that dictate how many on-air days they must have a year in order to get paid. Something like this could really ding a guy. So I reached out to James Watson himself to see if there's been any sponsorship fallout in this war between him and Major League Fishing. Well, he reports there has been a casualty. I can report that Garmin has recently informed James Watson that they would not be picking up his contract for the 2025 season. Now this represents a significant chunk of change, somewhere between fourteen and $15,000. With that said, Watson readily admits that his own actions played a part in the loss of the Garmin deal. He said that his colorful language, along with being on the edge at times, helped contribute to the loss of that very important relationship. So is the loss of this Garmin sponsorship the only casualty of war in this battle between James Watson and Boyd Duckett? We'll have to wait and see. Also, was the exclusion of this footage deliberate or coincidental? I want to hear your opinion, so put it in the comments section below. Please do me a favor, like, comment, share, subscribe, even think about becoming a member. But until next time we meet, get out there and enjoy this beautiful fall weather and keep it wet. Yo, it's a real tobacco, let's get to the facts. I don't sugarcoat nothing, I'll spit in the max. You think I'm holding back? Now nah, I better step back. I'm dropping lines.